Hello YouTube. So today I'm going to do a little little slight discussion on this blower and a demonstration of the performance of it and using just a shopping bag to see the uh, the flow in and out of the blower. Uh, so this blower being a B30 model, whatever this number is, uh, from what I've been able to tell in the uh, brochure that I have going by the dimensions I believe that whatever that number is is basically referring to the height of the blower off the floor so this one is 30 inches to the top here from the bottom of the feet um, you know as it sits it's probably closer to 36 or 37 because of the cart the little dolly that I've made for it but um, the blower wheel on the outside you really can't see can't really see the outside but you can see it's about an inch probably an inch or so thick the blower wheel and on the outer diameter it's close to 16 inches so um, it's quite quite a large wheel I guess um, it's definitely heavy you know this thing it's probably 20 pounds just the blower wheel and it's a three-quarter inch shaft keyed now on this side we've got this massive big motor here now this is a 7 8 horsepower um, this one is a 10 pole three phase so the rated rpm is 685 Let me give you a little close up of the tag here and the rotor there's the nice gorgeous rotor that Ilg's had back then with the copper ring and has the copper bars through it cleaned that up and that rotor is seven inches in diameter so you could pretty much put like a 45 rpm record right over the top of that thing now the entire housing of the motor is about 12 inches in diameter across so that's pretty hefty and the the whole thing weighs 120 pounds, just the motor by itself. So it's quite heavy. And, um, you know, all cast iron on the sides here. Nice and solid ilk construction, typical of that company. And what I've done here is I've put this restriction plate. Now you can slide this up and down, move it around. I can remove it. And I will demonstrate that in this video. Uh, but that's really just there for some back pressure and it also makes this run quieter without the restriction plate there's so much air going through this blower it's just very noisy and if I want to just be able to run it and just kind of have it running in the background move some air around it was just way too much noise so I put the restriction plate in and it has like a smooth uh, round over edge here I don't know if you can really see that or not but it's rounded over and it works quite well. So what I'll do is I'll put this on the tripod and we'll fire this thing up and see what it can do. All right, so uh, I'll start by firing up this blower. Here we go. Oops, wrong button. Okay. Now on the intake side, I hold this bag in front of here. See, it's got a, got a good, good bit of pull on this. If I, uh, I just use one finger per handle on this bag to really feel that wanting to pull in there. Even a foot away, it still has a grab. Now, on the low side of this restriction plate, see there is some airflow coming out of there, a reasonable pressure, but it's nothing compared to the top. That is just a huge amount of pressure and velocity. Even if I'm a foot, foot and a half, even two feet away, it's still fully inflating that bag with no slack at all in it. It's just fully inflated. Um, so now, as it sits, I'm drawing about 2.8 amps now, 2.7 amps. This is going through, this is on a rotary phase converter, so this is running the idler, I have a two horsepower idler motor, and 
this blower is running, and all of that together is drawing 2.8 amps from the wall at 250 volts. So uh, if I push this restriction plate down all the way to the bottom, now I would think, I think the volume of air has increased. The velocity seems to be about the same. Definitely moving a little bit more air. The current draw is about the same, but it's a little noisier. If I lift it up, you can hear that versus that. Now, if I take the restriction plate out completely, holy cow, you can hear a difference. Um, there's definitely some, some air moving here. It has no problem moving air at all. But now, as I said before, these aren't designed to run wide open like this. Without any back pressure, it is drawing more current. The motor's rated 5.5 amps, so we're still well within spec. Right now, uh, running at about 3.4, 3.5 amps. But uh, definitely a lot of air. And if I hold this in front now, because there's even more volume flowing through the blower now, it's trying to pull this bag even harder. If I hold it with just two fingers, it feels like it's going to just suck it in there. So, uh, well, it's definitely moving more air, possibly at a re reduced pressure. I also have an intake restriction plate that I've made for this. And it's tricky to get it lined up. There we go. So that necks it down from a pretty much 16 inch opening down to an 8 inch opening. So we have almost a 4 to 1 here reduction in the area that is allowing air flow through. And I have if I block this off completely, obviously we can hear how quiet this is running now. But now that that's blocked off, barely any flow of air coming out of here. Uh, now, toward the bottom, it's actually pulling a draft in. So I guess it's kind of pulling in hitting that blower wheel and kind of swirling back out. But, uh, right now we're drawing 2.5 amps. If I remove this, now we're drawing 2.6, but if I remove this, now we're drawing 3.4, 3.5 in that area. So significant decrease in current. Now I'll put this restriction plate back in. Now if I put the restriction plate to the top, if I get it there. now that it is up to the top, um, there's a little bit of air leaking at the top here. It's not a perfect seal, so it still has enough to actually even that little slit still moves it up there. But down here, we still got quite a velocity. I would say probably a little bit of a decrease in pressure since it's not allowing the air from the outer edge of the blower. It's pulling air out more around the you know, closer to the blower wheel. So you're not going to have as great of a pressure there. But still flowing quite a bit of air. Now I'll just put this back to my preferred sweet spot where I like to run it. And now we're back to this again. So that is the Ill B30 Universal Blower. I'm going to let it coast down to a stop. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.